Well, hello folks, welcome along to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet, and we're back here with the Custard Haulers. Um, we are just going to go through a big old tunnel right in front of us, and we've got a special old delivery today. We are going to the... Um, we're just north of Laverno, just north of Pisa. Pisa's not in the game. Uh, and we're going to be taking a wheel loader all the way to Nice, but we're taking it from somewhere special. We're taking it from the Carrera Quarry. Get ready for the Michelangelo achievement. I'm not sure what's going to be on the other end of this, but I think I think it's going to be spectacular. Yes, we are heading to the marble quarry, uh, one of the most famous marble quarries um, in the world. I think I'm not sure how, where else marble comes from, but this one has been making. But people have been quarrying marble here for about 2,000 years which is it is pretty damn spectacular so uh, we're just uh, gonna be uh, driving around through the innards of this mountain and once we get around to the other side there's gonna be a viewpoint and we've got a truck to pick up but doesn't this look nice doesn't this look nice we'll talk a little bit about the history of this quarry and why it's called the Michelangelo achievement uh, amongst other things and um, Hopefully you're going to put up some pictures as well to show you what it looks like because it's quite an impressive place. Um, I didn't realise I'd actually been quite close to it. I, I relatively recently flew into Pisa um, and so uh, wasn't a million miles away from it. Right, here we go. Looks like we're coming down here. Wow. Hopefully there's nothing coming the other way. <laughs> right, we're going in. Possibly. Right, we're going in this way. It's going to be on the other side of this, folks. We're going to Nice, and and in all honesty, we're probably not going to show much of the drive to Nice. This is this is the bit I want to show you. Um, I mean, I love this. Look at the texture on the walls. How cool is that? We are obviously going through somewhere they've had to blast out. And they got the reinforced bits. Hopefully we don't have James May travelling really fast up the one of these tunnels. Are we coming out? We've got the We've got the viewpoint just up on the left here, and here we are. The Carrera Marble Quarry. Let's see what all this is about then folks. Oh we got those big old Blocks of marble there. The people doing as much work. That guy's actually probably doing more work than others have done. You know, he's, he's checking out the marble, writing down the sizes. Big, very big, ginormous. That guy's, I don't know what he's doing, checking out the weather. He can't marble. Uh, you can't you can't quarry marble in the in the rain. Little known fact. So he's, that's what he's checking out. But it, it, it is a fantastic looking place. There's a, a random restaurant there. You can't actually go here. Uh, you can visit it as a tourist. So, um, Or some of these quarries. I think there's sort of three or four of these around. I guess these are tourists. Discussing the marble they've seen. <laughs> that, that one woman looks like she's eaten half of it. Or storing it in her mouth somewhere. But look at it, yeah, all the way up there. And that's kind of what it looks like up the top there. These kind of chunks of marble that they've taken out and then sort of transported down. So, let's go and get our uh, our truck. And I want to take some sort of photo here because, you know, it's it. We, we need to um, we need to have the one that something in the quarry as our um, thumbnail. Where is it? Ah, there we go. There we go. So this is going to be a fun one, I think. This will be a fun one. Right. It's not going to be an easy one to actually hook onto this. So I think we're going to have to drive past it and then go back in. Right, there we go. We are hooked up. Right. So look what route we're going to go back. I think we're going to come back this way so we can see what's uh, what's going on over here. But obviously we need to take a fancy photo. And then we're going to head off all the way through up to up to Nice. Um, 
which is just over. In fact, we're not even over the border in Italy, bizarrely, which I don't fully understand. <laughs> there we go. It's not not very far away at all. So uh, let's uh, let's head on out. Right, there we go. Heading on out the quarry. Got to keep an eye on what's going on behind us. We've got a big old trap uh, trailer here. Shouldn't be anything else on the roads, I wouldn't have thought. This is going to be a fun little drive, I think. Right. Got out of there, all right. Whew, what do we got, folks? What do we got? Let's take a few thumbnails first. Nice. Well, well, we won't stop at the restaurant. We've, we've given ourselves a little bit of a complicated bit of driving here. We've got, the, we've got to uh, double back on ourselves up this quarry. So uh, this will be a bit of fun. <laughs> oh no. Should we do it at speed? No, let's not. <laughs> so I think we're going down. Do we want to go down? Are we going to have enough power to get out the other side? Right. Just using the entire width of the road there. Well done, us. And back again. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? From big old rocks down the side of the road. If this was reality, we would be being absolutely ricocheted to death by those rocks. But that was nice, uh, nice work. I made, I made short work of that, folks. Short work was made of it. I thought we could go through that. Right. So we're going through this tunnel, and that should take us back. To where we started, presumably. I've enjoyed this this part. The just don't don't crash, don't crash on the side of the walls. I've looked relatively impressive in my uh, my bit of driving here. Right, we've got real cars on the road now. Right, folks. Well, what we can do here. Just realised how long my truck was there. I thought I thought I might have screwed that up. Right. So just to kind of show what we've done, we've come out the other side there. So we're going to come back round here, over the way, and then um, away we go up the ro up the road. So we're going to this this part of the road is not going to be particularly taxing. I wouldn't have thought. It's very very nice and lush. Don't know if this is how it is in reality. Um, got a bit of a river up here, down there. Looks like it, um, but I mean we we're not actually hitting the speed limit. I'm I'm slightly concerned how fast we're going. Firing down with our bulldozer on the back, which is slightly heavy. It's not it's not in the sort of the really weighty category, but you know anything that we've got to do with it is going to be a a little bit on the challenging side. We've got to go through this tunnel here. And I've got, I've got to say, you know, I've impressed myself with my ability to drive this. I mean, if I'd done this 50 episodes ago, we, we, we would already be sort of stuck down the mountain, I imagine, at this point. So I do want to talk a little bit about the kind of um, history of that quarry, because it is quite interesting. And I do also want to talk about um, why, well, as part of that, why Michelangelo is associated with that quarry. Because I thought that was also quite interesting as well. But what we're going to do initially. I'm not sure what that, that right is there. But it looks interesting. We'll just drive on a little bit. We'll get uh, on the road towards the uh, the French border. And then I'll come back and I'll talk a little bit about that. So uh, uh, I will, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Goodbye. So we've just really been going through tunnel after tunnel after tunnel. We've had a little bit of a sleep. It's uh, Thursday morning, um, so we've had a, a little bit of a nap overnight. Um, it was, uh, we were very, very tired. We haven't filled up with fuel, though. So I did want to talk a little bit about, so just to show you where we're coming up to Genoa, just, just about to get to it. 
Um, so we've come up from the the uh, the Carano marble quarry, which is down here, and uh, we're just probably over halfway, um, maybe a bit less actually, to our location. Not really a long way to go to get there. Uh, so it looks like a university on the hill or something. Uh, got to keep a little eye out here because I think we're going to have to be heading off just to the right towards which road is that that we've got to take. It's not the first one. That looks like that's an immediate right. So we don't take that one. But it's the next one. That one. Okay. So... What are you doing, mate? <laughs> so, in, in terms of the history of that uh, that quarry, um, I mean, it's, it is incredibly old. So, it is all the way back into Roman times. The Romans actually first identified there was a quarry there having this beautiful marble stone, and um, they essentially sort of lopped off the uh, the grass and trees on the top of that area, just north of Rome, isn't it? Well, a little way north of Rome, and. Uh, decided that uh, they quite liked that stone and uh, they ended up um, taking this this part of Italy as their own. It wasn't Italy then, of course, it was whatever it was, but um, they uh, they took it within their, their empire so they would have this beautiful stone. And actually a lot of the, the major um, landmarks, the, the really sort of impressive features of, uh, of Rome are, are made in, the, in, in this Carano uh, is it Carano? Gina Carano. Carrera, that's it. I'm thinking of Gina Carano. <laughs> Similar word, but made with that marble. Uh, so the, the Panthenon is is um, is made for, made with that. And uh, the, uh, I don't know what this actually is, Portaco of Octavia, which when I looked at it was this big gateway, which is also in Rome, is also made of this and a, and a few other things as well. So some of these really big areas, which is quite quite cool, I think, um, and allowed. I mean, you, you, when you sort of think of Rome, you think of these kind of great marble um, buildings and statues and stuff, don't you? So that's where it all came from. And there's sort of three or four of these quarries that uh, they're able to mine some of this marble. Some of it is really, really good quality, and it's very hard. Though that is only mined for the the really uh, special occasions. Now the reason it's called the Michelangelo achievement is because Michelangelo actually had a good old time with this uh, this marble stuff. A lot of his artwork was generated using it. Probably most famously his uh, statue David. Uh, that was with the uh, Carrero marble. Uh, so uh, he apparently he spent months in, in the quarry, um, looking for the perfect block of marble to uh, to be able to um, um, carve into into something beautiful. So, uh, yeah, he spent a lot of his life there, um, and he, he lived a long life up until ninety. So, uh, yeah, that's why it's the Michelangelo Michelangelo achievement. Anyway, we've been through a lot of tunnels <laughs> since since I've been talking, but yeah, we seem to be going through hills and mountains and stuff. So, yeah, that's the history kind of behind it. Um, and uh, yeah, there is uh, a visitor centre and stuff, so you can go and see um, see it. I think I'm, on the map it said like the Michelangelo experience as well. So presumably they've got a bunch of stuff relating to him as well, which is kind of cool. Right, folks, we're let's have a look where we are. I think we've we've passed uh, Genoa. So when we get into Nice, we actually have to go into France and then come back out of it. Which is a bit mad to drop this off, but uh, we will we will head on towards France, and then we'll we'll um, we'll come back as we're sort of nearing our location. We are exactly 100 miles to go, just two hours 19 minutes, uh, which is means we're well over halfway, which was a five hours 40 minute drive to get there, 237 miles originally, uh, and apparently only two percent of players have completed this achievement. So. Um, this will be good to get it done. Okay, folks, I'll see you in a little bit. So I've just gone over the French border. Um, it is just a series of tunnels, this is. It's ridiculous. I think we've just gone over the French border because it did say France, but 
I, on the map it looked like that was in a different position but uh, I think somewhere up here is a um, toll as well which I think perhaps is the exact French border I'm not 100% sure I might have, yeah we've got to I think we've got to go on and then come back through what we're we just going on over here now so if we were able to jump off there we'd be able to get there a lot quicker but uh, we're not so <laughs> I'll see you I'll see you in a bit right off we've come uh, you'll see how much money we have be making because I, I think when I started this I drove from Rome to Liverno and then up to the Carraro quarry we were on about 250,000 or something like that we're already 200,000 more in probably about a day which is ridiculous maybe a little bit more than that but um, yeah it's really quite uh, we're not we're not in need of money anymore we're, we're able to pick it up quite easily as you know I was watching Zilla and you know he made he made the point that at some point money is not a worry at all and I think we have gone past that because it just doesn't matter if we get caught by the police for speeding it doesn't matter if uh, we end up crashing into a barrier and completely wrecking our truck none of it really matters because we the you know we are we've got so much money so it, yeah I, I think when people are talking about sort of um, the one of the sort of up updates to the game being finances being a little bit better, a little bit more realistic. I can kind of see why, because when you get to this point, that whole part of the game kind of goes away, doesn't it? It's a nice little part, a nice little um, section of road here that you're not going to get to unless you're you're going to make this delivery, and we've probably got a quite impressive little quarry in its own right down here as well going back under the um, under the main road there it looks like we're on the quarry road heading in we'll see when we get there here we are what would have been kind of cool I mean, I don't know what you think, but given that location we've just picked the thing up from, would it not be nice to be able to have a special delivery of specifically from that location of a big block of marble that we've got to take somewhere? That feels like that would be pretty immense. Right, what are we doing? We're going right here. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do something like that, because... Right. It does feel like that would be fun. Like a 90. That's not going to happen, is it? We'll see what we can do with this one. I think that's going to be challenging in itself. We've got to turn. Got to get this all the way around and then turn late. Late. There we go. Well done. Ooh. Are we coming around here? And it's just there. So, again, turning late and then straighten up. And we've got that, I think. Ooh. Awesome. Well, not the longest delivery in the world, but it was a fun one. Completed the Michelangelo achievement, so that's good. Another achievement. I think we're on about 33, 34% of the achievements in the game completed, which feels pretty nice. Almost at level 29, not far to go there. Um, what are we going to do next? Not entirely certain. Um, we, we, I do want to complete the um, All Roads Lead to Rome uh, achievement. I think we've got to come down into Rome via this route and then up into Rome via this route. We've also got a photo opportunity to pick up there. I don't know what that is. And we need to pick up Florence and Casino. So those are probably some of the goals that we will have. Maybe going back into Italy 
heading off towards Florence as maybe the next next thing to do. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what uh, what we uh, what we're going to be up to. There might be uh, might be something else on. I'm not sure. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.